Hello, and welcome to part two of your CSUB 1029 presentations using the library for academic research. This short presentation is intended to take a more in-depth look at how to use the library to complete your academic assignments, as well as introduce you to the research process at the university level. The library's primary mission is to support your education and research. Today, we will explore when and how the library can support that research and view OneSearch and the research databases to find and access library resources. Albert Einstein said, the only thing you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. We know you are here to learn and your professors and instructors don't expect you to know everything, but they will expect you to know where to find the help you need. Working within a remote learning environment can be difficult, but the library is still just a click away. Maybe you're feeling skeptical. Can't I just Google it? Let's explore just some of the things the library can do for you. Academic research at the university level is a lengthy process, so always start on your assignments early. Once you've chosen your topic, you will want to find books and research articles to explore the background and previous research surrounding your topic. Your instructors will expect more than basic Google searches or Wikipedia as a source. You will be expected to use the library systems to access the most reputable and current information. If you're ever having trouble finding information, contact a librarian. Next, using the information you find effectively is an active process. Luckily, your librarian is also an expert in information. We can help you evaluate sources and create citations for your bibliography. Finally, you will put it all together by combining your own ideas and perspectives with the research of scholars to create your own in-depth analysis. And remember, the research process can be frustrating, so always be flexible. I know that sounds like a lot. Maybe you're already feeling like you've been thrown into the deep end of the pool. It's okay, don't panic yet. We are here to help. You can contact the CSUB subject librarian via email or 24 seven chat and even make an appointment to meet one-on-one -on -one for a virtual reference consultation. So what kind of questions should you ask your librarian? This can be anything from, I have to write a paper and I need to find three scholarly sources that support my perspective. Or it could be even something more complex, like I need help finding socioeconomic data that supports a link between poverty and childhood diseases. Your instructor might use words like scholarly and peer reviewed how will you know if something is reputable or current? What does it mean for something to be evidence-based? A librarian can help you understand all of this and more. The library's homepage is your gateway to access. There's a lot of information here, hours, events, services, but today we are going to look at OneSearch. This is where you sign in to your library account using your CSUB NetID and password. Always sign in first before searching. Our search default is set to what is available in full text, but you can also expand your results to see everything. This means that even though we may not have access to the full text at CSUB, you can still request it. An expanded search includes all of the materials at other CSUs and even other libraries across the country. The library is committed to getting you the resources you need to complete your assignments and research. Remember, you must be signed in with your NetID and password to see this option. Having trouble accessing the full text of a book or article? Linking to library resources from off campus can have its problems. If you're ever unable to access the full text of a resource, use the report a problem button available within each OneSearch record. Reporting a problem not only helps you, but also improves our system for other students. Double check your contact information to ensure we get back to you as soon as possible. While well, OneSearch is great and you can usually find something on your topic, it can also sometimes be a struggle to determine what is relevant because there are so many results. Research databases, on the other hand, have a lot of extra special features that make finding highly specific information easy. You can find the library's databases in multiple ways, through the database A to Z list or by subject. Here is our database A to Z list. As you can see, the library has access to over 160 databases. Each database has a description which explains what kind of topics they might cover. One of our most used databases is called Academic Search Complete. If you're ever unsure where to start, 
the popular databases listed here cover many different topics. Databases are the perfect place to refine your search. They will even suggest search terms and synonyms that you may not have thought of on your own. Here, you can see all of the other terms for undergraduate students, such as college student or university student. The drop-down option is offering synonyms for the word study. Notice how similar terms are grouped on the same line with or, and main concepts are combined by using and. Databases help you construct powerful search statements and have tools to create citations for your bibliographies. The CSUB library is also available on your CSUB mobile app. Download this app today to start taking advantage of all the library's services and resources. Also, the CSUB IT Help Desk is an important resource to know about, especially if you can't log into your library or Canvas accounts. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions on the content covered, please don't hesitate to contact the library.